In this video, we'll look at whether AlCl3 is polar or nonpolar, whether this is a polar or nonpolar molecule. First off, with AlCl3, it will often be Al2Cl6, depending on the conditions. So in this video, we're just looking at AlCl3. The other thing is that aluminum chloride, even though we have a metal bonded to nonmetals, this is considered a covalent compound. So the bonds between the aluminum and the chlorine atoms, we're considering those covalent. So to figure out whether it's polar or nonpolar, let's take a look at the difference in electronegativity between the aluminum and chlorine. So we find aluminum here, 1.61, and then chlorine, 3.16. So we have a fairly large difference in electronegativity. It's not quite to the threshold we consider to be an ionic bond, but it's very polar. There's a big difference in electronegativity. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So the actual bond between each aluminum and chlorine, these shared electrons here, this is going to be a polar bond. And what that means is these shared electrons we have here, they're not going to be shared equally. They'll spend more time around the chlorine atoms. So we consider the bond to be polar. But what about the entire molecule? Let's look at a visualization. So the purple, that's going to be our aluminum. Let's add chlorine atoms. We add one two, and you see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. We add that third one, and we end up with this molecular geometry that we call trigonal planar. It's all in a plane. And because it's all in a plane, you can imagine each one of these chlorine atoms here is pulling in an opposite direction. And because of that, they all cancel out. So there really is no difference in electronegativity for the whole molecule. It's uniform because we have this trigonal pyramidal. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So in answer to our question whether AlCl3, aluminum chloride, is polar or nonpolar, we can say the bonds between the aluminum and the chlorine atom, those are polar bonds. But overall, because they're in opposite directions, equal and opposite directions, they cancel out. Overall, we have a nonpolar molecule. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.